Yeah, this is uh, Ruben Habasa, a prophet messenger of God Most High here in Christ Lordship Ministries International, New Jerusalem Christian Fellowship as a church. People of God, listening to me, people of God, viewing me, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I have a message for you. Especially this message goes to those those who want material things. Those who want material things. Material things, they are good and they are needed in the kingdom of heaven. But when you are not serious, when you are not careful, material things can divert you from God. Material things can separate you from God. Why? Because the devil, the enemy, has made himself the God of material things. Remember the Bible clearly says that the devil has made himself the God of the world. And you know all these material things are under world systems. So you need to be careful. You can have material things, but these material things, they divert you from God. God your creator. Especially when you begin trusting those material things, when you put your faith in what God has given you, when you trust what God has given you, when those things God has given you, they start controlling you, then it means they have already diverted you from the God who gave you those things. And this is evil and this is dangerous. And the moment they divert you from God, the moment they separate you from God, then you are leading to death. People of God listening to me and viewing me, I want you to understand this. When God put man in Eden, when God put man in the garden of Eden, he said, manage it. What does it mean? When God put man in the garden of Eden, he said, manage it. What does it mean? Brothers and sisters, let me tell you, when God gives you things and you don't manage them, you will lose them. When God gives you material things and you don't manage them, you will lose them. In most cases, God does not give you what you ask for, but what you can manage. God does not give what you ask for. But he gives you what you can manage. Don't pray for what you cannot manage. People of God, don't pray for what you cannot manage. Because God shall provide for you depending on your management ability. God shall provide for you depending on your management ability. Not from your prayer requests, but on your management ability. You want money. You want billions of shillings. You want dollars and pounds. But that small amount of money you are having is making you run mad. This shows that when God gives you billions, when God gives you dollars or pounds, it will separate you from God. And that money shall become your God. If you are not faithful in coins, who can trust you with papers? So be, be faithful with little and you will be put over much. You want your own house, but the one you are sleeping in, you have failed to be responsible. It is always very dirty. If you cannot manage your body, how can you manage a wife or how can you manage a husband? So brothers and sisters, it depends on the ability you have to manage. Because when God created man and put him in Eden, he said, manage it. And when God trusts you with material things and you don't manage them, you shall lose them. They shall be taken away from you. So whatever God gives you, he wants you to be fruitful. He wants you to multiply. Fill the earth and dominate. I wish you the best. I pray that God gives you wisdom, understanding, 
so that you can be able to manage whatever he gives to you, whatever he promised you. Otherwise, I wish you the best. Let me pray for you. Father in the heavens, in the name of Jesus Christ, whoever is viewing me, whoever is listening to me, give them the ability to manage whatever you trusted with them. Father, have mercy. Forgive them, heal them, and answer their prayers according to their ability of management. Provide for their needs, O oh God. Give them good health. Fight against those who fight against them. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray. Amen and amen.